Hello, welcome to the Con Crunch Studio Vlog. I realized as I'm sitting here editing this vlog that I never filmed an intro. I barely filmed an outro. So, welcome. This is going to be probably a vlog that's similar in level of chaos to my studio makeover vlogs. And honestly, I didn't get to the point that I thought I was going to by the end of this, but I think you guys are going to get a pretty good idea of how my booth is going to look at SAC Anime and Stockton Con. So, yeah, it's a pretty fun ride. I hope you stick around to see it. And right now, I'm just unboxing some keychain restocks and all that good stuff. I had some friends who jumped in on this order with me because they were going to be selling at SAC Anime as well and wanted some emergency keychains made. So I was like, I got you. I got you. So, and this is my big giant bag of shaker charms that I'm sorting through. I wanted to kind of talk over these clips because when I was editing them, I realized how freaking noisy my sticker cutter was in the background, like heinously noisy. It's very squeaky and I desperately need to oil it down because I can't be in the same room at it as it currently. So yeah, you get voiceover, Ashley. I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope if you are going to be at SAC Anime that you will stop by my booth. I will be in the Indie Zone at IZ11. I'm actually gonna be on a corner that's between the Indie Zone and across the aisle from the vendor hall. So I'm very excited about that placement. It's extremely choice. When I told Ryan where I was going to be, he was like, oh, you're going to kill it. So help me kill it. And this is my August Patreon exclusive shaker charm. It's so cute. Little tiny cryptids on a map. You've got the Wendigo, the Jersey Devil, Bigfoot, Mothman, and the Fresno Nightcrawler, which is a local cryptid to me. Fun fact. So yeah. I'm going to let you listen to some music while I finish off these clips, and I'll see you in the rest of the vlog. mess. Oh, everything is everywhere. Gotta stuff all the pillows, remnants of mystery bags, Patreon stuff, just misplaced garbage, more Patreon stuff, a stinky meat. Somehow I need to figure out how I'm gonna store inventory for the convention. I have so much more stuff than I've ever had. It's gonna be interesting. Ryan finally brought in my big box of con display stuff. So a lot of these things I've had for years and won't be reusing, but you know, I kind of started throwing some stuff together last night and got about, about a week-ish to get this all dialed in because I need to figure out like what stuff I'm gonna need to order, what needs tweaking. Like this is my preferred display for leftover Patreon stickers, but as you can see, this isn't a very good way to display them because you can't really see them and they're all just kind of loosely flopping around in there. So gotta figure out an alternative way to do that. But 
This fits everything, so I would prefer to use it. And somehow have to display all my stickers, all my keychains, all my pins, all my sticker sheets, which are in here. I don't think I'm gonna restock prints for these shows. Pillows. But I don't know, I have a I have a slight vision right now and I'm eager to play around with it. Packing these up. I just need to cut the little character cards and get them stuffed in envelopes. Yeah. There's still a big stack of them here that don't have minis cut yet, but those are leftovers. Alright, I've added this second little table because the actual table I'll have at SAC Anime is like 8 feet long and this one's not that. So, I don't think it's actually going to be this whole... I don't think that's 8 feet. I'm terrible with, with lengths and stuff. But I think I want a double grid here. So I'm going to build another tower and the way Ryan built them... They don't have the ability to connect, so I'm just going to kind of wing it. And I'm really not good at building these things, so just bear with me. these will be connected so there won't be this double wall here but yeah at least now I can kind of simulate the idea I have in mind also this bag which is just like a typical like luggage material bag is what I store the little connectors in and thank you to the summer Fresno weather 
these have like adhered to that material so they're all crusty and I'm gonna have to clean them up. Gross. This is where we're at right now. I don't quite have everything I need to test out display with these little poster boards, but I'm pretty happy with the rest of this. Still need to figure out how to properly display the Patreon stuff. And I built this one one square higher so that I have room for a couple of things on the front here, and I don't know that I'll actually need it. But I also wanted the pillows up high enough where people can't just grab them because I think I want to try as best as I can to implement a no touch the products or the displays in my booth. But like with the shaker charms and stuff dangling right here, I don't know how that's gonna go over. So we'll see. This is where we're at right now. I just finished rounding all the corners on my business cards all the corners on my pin backing cards, which look like this, if you don't know. There. All with this thing. My arm is a little sore and I'm having my first pumpkin drink. So one thing I've been trying to do to trick my brain into thinking that I'm not being really productive and working while actually being productive and working is doing stuff from the couch while I'm watching stuff on TV. So like you saw me do um, the business cards and uh, packing my Patreon orders or Patreon envelopes, Patreon sticker club. My coffee is still setting in. Um, so I've just been trying to do that as much as I can because it doesn't feel like I'm working if I'm watching something on TV at the same time and sitting on the couch. There's something very distinct about being on the couch for me that makes it feel like I'm not working. So the other things left to do on my list for um, things I can do from the couch is add the charm labels to all the keychains and stuff the pillows. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of that this morning before I go pick up prints and get back to work on the display because it's really coming together. So just in like the last hour, I stapled all of these ones and all of these. 
and it doesn't feel like it's a whole lot, especially compared to how many are left, but it was a lot of work, and my hand hurts now. You can see how red my hand is. Uh, the stapling pain. But, yeah, progress is progress, and considering that I'm... I, I don't know if I'm ahead of schedule or not, but it just feels good to be doing a little bit every single day. But also, yesterday I significantly reduced the stack of stickers I have to cut. This is all still um, just a couple of little Patreon things, the last of the sticker sheets, and all the sticker packs. So those will be kind of done throughout the week. And you're not going to be able to tell, but this is my storage for my Patreon Sticker Club stuff. And I cut all the minis for August. I cut all the minis that were left over from like June and July. Those were already done. September, I had to cut all of them for these extras. Those ones were done. All of the February ones. Just... They're all done. They're all ready. They're all completed. And I just need to, you know, figure out how to package them. Because I don't know that I'd care for it just being the cellophane. I like to have my information on the packaging. But I'll figure that out another day. So, yeah. Getting somewhere. I poked a little bit at it last night. So, I think, I still don't quite know how I'm going to... Get it all to fit but this is my like okay this is how everything is going to fit kind of i'm gonna try and condense them more if i can but i think this is gonna be stickers and sticker packs all the die cuts and i need to somehow fit two more rows down here because three won't fit no matter how hard i tried um and then i'm gonna do the same with keychains once i've freed up these guys try and figure out how many I need and I bought little command hooks that'll just sit right here and I can hang them from there and I'm like I've only been stolen from once at a convention at least as far as I know so the thought of not having the keychains secured to like the grid usually I'll clip them onto the grid but it just feels messier that way so I'm gonna try and have the keychains closer to where I'm at, which is gonna be about right here. That way I can keep a better eye on them. And the, the stickers will just be adhered to this thing with glue dots. So yes, you can probably rip them off real easily, but I feel like that's gonna be at least a little bit more, um, I don't know, secure than just dangling the keychains. So here's my grab bag display. I'm pretty happy with it. I have another one of those boxes somewhere that I might like do grab bags on either side of the table or I might use the box for something else entirely. And then I gave up having this be, whoops. I gave up this being the Patreon sticker club display because it just wasn't gonna work out the way I wanted it to, but it sits my pins pretty well. So I think that's gonna work out. We already saw the sticker sheets and the notepads. There's a couple more things that are gonna fill in right here. And then obviously those are stand-ins. Oopsie, I messed this up. Anyway. And then this has become kind of the Patreon wall. So these are going to be how the sticker club sets are going to be displayed. And I'm having some double-sided pink paper printed for me. So that way on one side I can kind of adjust the main sticker to sit right in the middle, and then on the back side I can have the minis kind of displayed nicer than that is, but that way you can see them all. And yeah, and then I'm gonna have another kind of one of these printed for this area right here that's just for the Patreon exclusives. And they'll be all kind of separated. And that way it will make sense if I have just a little display right here that says like, hey, this is what the September sticker club is. Here's a QR code that you can use to join right now and be part of this sticker club. And then I moved the pillows up higher and the tote bag's just there for now. I think that might go on this side just to kind of drape down. And then I didn't have enough space for 
a full, you know, two full of these displays for the clear stickers. So I got this box and I thought this would be a cute way to display like the washi tapes too. Might have to stuff something down in there so those stay that way. And then I have so many of these mini clear stickers that I don't mind just putting out like so many of them. But I thought that would be cute. And then I'm on a corner. So this is gonna be outward facing. So I will probably do either a spirit pillow or a periwinkle pillow and then maybe more grab bags. I'm not sure. But I'm waiting on a new tablecloth. Usually I use this beige one down here and the blue. I, the blue is no longer part of my branding and quite frankly, neither is the beige cream colored anymore. So I have a new large tablecloth coming that's pink, like a really, like a this color pink. And Ryan inherited from his dad some really cute like lace um, table runners and stuff that I might put throughout just to add some texture. And then if you've seen any of my displays in the last like year of doing cons, I have a big uh, photo backdrop thing that I put behind me with some white curtains. And I'm gonna do my table runner over the front of that so you can see my logo right above me in the middle. And I bought a curtain string light to go down behind it so it's gonna be really dreamy. And I might put some foliage up there too, I don't know. But I'm getting really excited because it's starting to come together. And convention is a little more than a week. So time to get back to work. All right, here's what I was talking about for the Patreon display. So this is gonna be, I'm gonna trim the white off. This is gonna be the exclusive merch. And I'm gonna cut these out and label the different sticker packs with them. And then this is just now double-sided pink. And I'm gonna trim the white stuff off the edges and cut it down to size as I need it to be. So let's do it. Also, this cutting mat is very ugly and used, but I actually recently cleaned off all the old adhesive from it and I redid some of the adhesive glue. That's why it's so streaky and it works pretty good. Highly recommend. I might do a tutorial on it later. just wanted to talk real quick about I guess mental health um, I don't remember I can't <laughs> for one anxiety messes with your memory which super great for me but I think in the last like couple of vlogs I did I was talking about I was talking about how I was having a really hard time and it was a really slow month and then I ended up having what turned out to be a more successful month in retrospect in July and then I had the best shop update launch whatever you want to call it I've ever had with this last one in on the 13th but I just I don't know if this is a millennial thing or if this is a small business owner thing or a creative thing or just a mental health thing in general but it's like everything can be going perfectly fine, better than fine, and all it takes is one little thing to just ruin everything. And it's so annoying and I wish that I had better control over it and 
I don't know, maybe I need to find a way to make those sorts of things matter less, but I was having a perfectly great day and then I happened to go and check like the numbers for something and got really discouraged for the rest of the day. So I've been able to pull myself out of it a little bit since then, but just if you are having a moment like that, don't feel down about it. There's always a solution. And sometimes it's just a, a sign that means you need to take a break or maybe reevaluate what you're doing and just do something for yourself. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I just think it's important to let everybody know that like despite all of the outside perspective of my own small business and everybody else's small business that it's not always sunshine and rainbows and it's a lot of self-doubt and struggling and trying to be your own cheerleader in a lot of situations and having a lot of you know moments where you think that you're not doing the right thing and I'm definitely in the middle of one of those and I'm trying to be as objective about it as possible so I'm here for you. I love you. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day and not the sort of week that I've been having so far. Oh, delivery! Let's go get it! I've been waiting all day for this. Grand Tour roll of glue dots to hold down the stickers. Four by six cellophane bags so I can bag everything that's gonna be on display and not worry about it being touched directly. New pink tablecloth, which is a lot pinker than I expected it to be, which I love. Here's the little tiny command hooks. And I hope they're not gonna be too tiny. They look like they'll probably work perfectly bag they came in and the curtain lights oh my god it's gonna be so dreamy behind my curtains oh I liked these ones because you have the option of doing battery operated or there's a USB wow if I can just get things in here there's a USB so you can plug it directly into like a wall port or a portable battery pack a remote control. These are definitely going up somewhere in the studio after conventions because I've been wanting some of these for so long. And I think when I do like reaction videos and stuff, it'll look much better when I'm behind my computer instead of seeing this. Like sometimes you see all of that and it's like, obviously the logo is fine. That's why I put it there, but you don't want to see the door and all this crap. So I can put my backdrop up and put the lights up and it'll be so pretty. Oh God, I'm so excited for Ryan to come home and help me put all this together. Oh, the booth is almost done. Can you feel my excitement?
All right, let's do a little update. So I've got everything wrapped in plastic now. That way I don't feel so gross about the fact that people will probably touch things. Uh, this little box is going to be for the mini clear stickers and my washi tapes. And I think I want to stuff something down inside these so that they can sit upright. You can actually see them. This hasn't changed. And this, where I was finessing my Patreon stickers and I couldn't get it to work, made more sense for the enamel pins. And that makes me very happy to say I did figure something out for the Patreon stickers. And I'm really happy with this. Then these are all the exclusives that are currently available to the public. So this took me hours, but I think the end result is fantastic because you can just walk up and, you know, still kind of touch it. You can see the hollow effect. And on the back side, you can see the minis. Very pleased, very pleased. Pillows are gonna go up there. I still need to stuff more periwinkles. And then the tote bag's gonna be right here. This is going to be, I don't know if you can even see it, it's translucent. Um, this is going to be a sign that's advertising my Patreon sticker club. So it's gonna have the September stickers on it because those will be here, I think tomorrow. And I'm gonna put like a little QR code that people can scan and just like immediately join. So very excited about that. And then this is one of my old Patreon merch club exclusives. I have two of them, but I just don't know where to put it. I thought maybe putting it over here, but it didn't really like fit nicely. So I'm going to figure that out. My payment option sign and the oopsie packs. And I think I might update this to look a little cuter. Maybe not. Nothing has really changed. Um, oh yeah, my tablecloth came in. And there's the cute little lace things that Ryan got from his dad. It's not long enough, the pink. So I'm going to have to do something else to cover the end because that, that end of the table is going to be towards the aisle, which not great. And then here's going to be where the keychains are going to go. And the command hooks are currently curing, I guess you could say. And then of course, my stickers. This was very exciting to put together. And you've got the sticker packs up here, which same thing you can kind of lift. Well, not really. These ones are really kind of on here, but usually you can like see on, oh, well, now that it's off, you can see on the back side like what stickers come inside. So I'll have to figure out an easier way to display those. Stay. But I'm really pleased with how these turned out. Had to double up some of them because there was no way I was gonna fit an entire extra row on here. So yeah, now I just have to get these guys attached and I still am hellbent on setting up the banner so I can see how the lights and everything look because I think it's gonna look so nice. But I realized when I was making the Patreon exclusives that some of these keychains don't sit nicely and that drives me insane. So I did mobile pickup for a Joanne's order to get these little tiny jump rings that I can just add to this that'll like make them sit nicer. So I'll have to do that to some of the other ones as well. But for the most part, this is pretty much it. Pretty much it.
Okay, despite my fears, this seems to be holding okay. I also like let the little command hooks sit for a couple hours so that the adhesive can cure or whatever it says on the instructions to do. I did what it told me to do, which I don't usually do. So I'm mostly worried about these binder clips keeping everything up. I mean, most of the charms are on there. So it's not gonna get much heavier than this, but I think I want to let it be for a little while. So let's run some errands and I'll come back and see that everything is still in place, which it, be it, it better be. Also, I just made a graphic to advertise my spot in the Indie Zone to post on social media. And I realized that we have the booth facing the wrong way in my test, which isn't too big of a deal because it's easy enough that I can just rotate everything on the table, but I'm not gonna do that for this test because I already have everything in place and I don't wanna mess with it. But also now the like visual I have in my head of walking up to my booth from like the other side is inverted and it's weird. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. All right, it's as done as it's gonna get for now. Look at them all. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy. I've never been this satisfied with a booth displayed before. I'm so happy. So I was gone about, oh, maybe 30 minutes or so. And this held up just fine, so now I'm just gonna let it stay here until those binder clips decide to give out or it proves to me that it's gonna hold up. <sighs> well, the hard work's not over yet. I still have a bunch of stickers to cut. I need to figure out my pricing, and there's a couple little tiny display things that I need to make over the weekend and have printed early next week. And then figure out how to store the inventory while we're at the convention, so. But for now, this is where I'm gonna end the vlog because it's like 2.30 on Friday and I still wanna try and edit this and get it out today, so. But yeah, if you guys are gonna be at SAC Anime, let me know in the comments. I would love to see you. Um, and not next week's video, but the following week, which will be, I think, Friday the 10th, you can see the SAC Anime Artist Alley vlog, so. Please subscribe for that if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next week in a reaction video.